Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel, and I thought we would finally talk about my hair! My hair! Which I don't know what is going on right here with my hair. It's still like half wet. Um, okay, so for those of you who don't know, what is going on with this spot right here? It's like I got a weird curl or something. <laughs> my hair, which behaves very badly. Um, okay, so for those of you who do not know, I am naturally a very dark brunette and I got this crazy idea in my head that I wanted to go blonde. So, um, I'm going to talk to you guys about my journey. Um, I am not a hairstylist at all. I, I am not a hairstylist at all. I'm just going to tell you what I went through and, um... Going through it, I would definitely do um, do it differently now than what I did. Um, so I'm just going to share with you guys what happened to me and <laughs> what happened to me. And um, yeah, so first of all, if you have really dark hair and you are thinking about going blonde, um, you need to be extremely committed to going blonde. Like, it is a commitment, okay? Um, when you have really dark hair and you are trying to make it light, it is a process. It is not an overnight thing as much as I tried to make it an overnight thing. It's not. Um, you have to be very careful with how much product you're using on your hair so your hair doesn't all fall off. Um, it is a lot of maintenance, it's a lot of upkeep. If you're somebody who doesn't like to do your hair every day, like me, um, this is really not something that you wanna do. So the commitment is huge, okay? And I want you guys to understand that. It is a huge undertaking to go from black to blonde. The next thing that you need to really understand is you need to have an extreme sense of humor, okay? You need to be able to laugh at yourself and you need to be able to laugh at the people who are going to laugh at you. Um, my entire family, husband, my parents, his parents, everyone, my friends, they all are um, were not supportive of me going blonde, but it was something that I wanted to do so I was going to do it. Um, so you just really have to have a sense of humor about it because people are going to make comments and the first time you do something stupid, you know, you're going to get a blonde joke at you. So definitely commitment and the ability to laugh at yourself is going to be huge in this undertaking. Do not do this lightly. Don't be like, wake up one day and, oh, it would be nice to be blonde and try to go blonde because, <sighs> Don't do it. Don't do it. But if you are determined to do it, then this is how we do it. Okay, now there is a lot of um, every person that you talk to is going to give you some sort of different advice. Okay, um, I have been to Sally's 800 times during this process and every single person even at Sally's that I talk to is giving you totally, totally, totally different advice. Okay, so when I went the first time, I picked up the Age Beautiful, um, what is this, wait, no, not this one. Uh, the Permanent Cream Lightener. Okay, I had completely black hair at the time and I told them what I wanted to do and they said this is what you want to do. Now cream lightener is definitely more gentle on your hair than, um, you know, like a packet of bleach like this. <coughs> now when I went into Sally's after I did this, the girl looked at me like, oh no, 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 you do not use a cream lightener on your entire head. However, I felt like it did a pretty good job. Now, I will say, I had dyed my hair purple um, before going blonde. And I, it was, I mean, I had like this much regrowth. Um, but if you did anything purplish, pinkish, reddish to your hair before you go blonde. You want that completely out of your hair before you start this. Um, and this is why I'm going to show you a picture of when I was putting on 
when I put the cream lightener on for the very first time. Okay, so I looked in the mirror and I am immediately called Makeup Mama, like, Houston, we have a problem. Like, this is not good. Oh my goodness. Um, I didn't know what I was, I, I didn't, oh. With this, I used a 30 developer. So I used a 30. Um, I didn't go all the way to 40 because the girls at the store were like, you're going to lose all your hair if you go to 40. So I did 30. Now, it did a great job on the roots. Um, but the rest of my hair was not cool. So I washed it out and this is the hair that I got. Really pretty, right? Like super pretty. Oh my goodness. So um, they said that I was going to have to lighten twice. Fine. Well, I couldn't lighten two times in a row. So... Um, what I did was I went ahead and toned it and I used the Wella T14 toner with a 20 developer um, and this is the pale ash blonde and it's really it was like really kind of a silvery color that it was supposed to turn out like well okay insert picture of what that looked like These pictures are great, right? Like, I'm like looking like the happiest person on the planet. Okay, that was so not cool. Not cool wasn't going to work for me. So instantly, I was like, okay, we need to lighten again. So I waited like a day, two days maybe, and I lightened again. And this time I only did the bottom parts and I used the rest of what I had here and um, and a 20 developer and this was just um, lightens up to four levels and this is the powder stuff and it was uh, the powder was in the color purple so I uh, did that and it wasn't working it wasn't working. Nothing was making my hair lighter. Um, so anyway, um, after that, I developed again, T14, again. Um, and that's what this looked like. Now, at this point, I have completely killed my hair fried it to fry, 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 fry. And there was nothing that I could do about it. I, at this point, it was a waiting game, a complete waiting game. Um, so here's my advice to you guys at this point. What I would have done differently, I would have lightened my hair the one time, okay? And it was really kind of that orangey color then develop it with whatever developer you want, but make sure it's an ash blonde because if you're getting those orange undertones, you really want to go with ash. At that point, your hair is going to be scary, 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 scary. The things that I discovered after this are going to save you. These things right here. These will save your life. Okay, so your hair is like this weird, weird, weird color and, and you need to not bleach again. Pick up these. And what, um, what I picked up first was the, let me see if I can find it here. Okay, this is the Fancy Full True Steel and this is a rinse. So you put this on your hair and you um, do your hair like normal and this made, so when I had the gray hair, when you guys could see the gray, um, gray silver hair this is what I was using and when you wash your hair it comes out and this one um, yes this one doesn't is just the steel but if you get I also got the sweet cream so they come in a rinse and they come in a mousse whatever um, the sweet cream was a pale ash blonde um, for toning bleached hair and these are supposed to counteract 
the orange color. So I could put this on my hair and some of that orange would go away. Now, not completely, but it was livable. So this was my routine for three weeks. So bleach your hair one time, tone it one time. Then get whatever colors you want, whether it's a dark color, you know, to kind of hide what's going on. But definitely, I would say pick up one that um, covers the... Uh, covers up, it'll say, you know, it'll like kind of cover up the um, it, orangey color. Now, I also did pick up purple shampoo, purple shampoo and purple conditioner. Now, be very, very, very careful with purple. Um, I was like using it and like using it and using it. And then all of a sudden my roots were turning like silver and I still had orange bottoms. So be very, very careful like when you use it and I actually just used it like three or four times and um, I didn't use it on my roots but um, just use it on the bottoms, bottoms of my hair and basically you just have to be orange for a while. Okay and then after three weeks goes by or a month or whatever you can stand I was able to wait three weeks so I played around with these things for three weeks. Okay, and they're cheap. They're like six bucks a piece. So I mean for me it wasn't it wasn't a big deal. Um so bleach my hair again. Did I bleach my hair again? No, I didn't. Yeah, I did. I bleached my hair one more time three weeks later. And then I put on the color. And what I have on my hair right now, and I don't have the packages with me, I'm sorry, they're at my sister's house, is I have the Wella 10-1, and I'll list these down, down below, 10-1, which is the Ash Blonde, and I have the 8-1, which is the Palest Ash Blonde, and then I have the 6-A, which is a, it's called Sand. And um, I'll put down how much I used down in the down bar and what, um, how I mixed it and everything like that. And then this is the color that I got. And I am actually extremely happy with my hair right now and it's still wet, so sorry guys. I'm really happy with the color that I got. Um, it's got, it's still, you know, because of how we, I did it, it's got the highlights and the lowlights. I'm not just one color. Um, so, yeah, that is my hair story. Now, by the time I got this color, hello, roots. I mean, it takes so long to be able to get your hair to where you want it that I've got roots. And I have got this weird thing. I curled my hair weird this morning, apparently. I got those, like, curls coming out of my head. <coughs> okay, so I know this video is really long. Right now, I'm at the point where I need to either bleach my roots and continue to color, or I go dark again. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, this is a commitment thing. I just got my hair to a decent looking color and now I have roots and I have to figure out what I'm gonna do. So, that's my hair story, you guys. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Like I said, I am not, I am not uh, trained in hair at all. This was a complete learning process. I definitely would tell you guys to do it differently than I did. Um, just for the fact that it was, I definitely tortured my hair by doing what I did. Um, but in the end, I still have pretty healthy hair and, um, I finally got to a color that I really like. So that's my story, guys. Um, let me know, um, if you have any questions. Like I said, I'm not a trained person in this, but... I have been through this and would answer any questions that you have and then we'll just kind of see what I decide to do once my roots get a little bit longer um, 
and see where I am as far as keeping it blonde or going dark. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you next time. Bye!